Well, it looked like it's time for us to get our checkbooks out. It's time for the NBA draft. It's 2013, and I'm telling you now, this is going to be action-packed. Good evening and welcome to the 2013 NBA Draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players, tonight marks the culmination of years of hard work as their dream of playing in the NBA moves closer to reality. To all of the fans watching around the world and to those here with us tonight, thank you for joining us. And now, to the task at hand. <gasps> Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Do you guys see what's on the screen right now? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get my life together. Let me get my life together. Oh my God. The Bobcats are really trying to give up the first round pick four. Who is Jeff Taylor? Somebody Google that guy. I don't even care right now. Hold on. All I got to do is give up Evan Turner and the 2014 second round draft pick. Hold on. Wait, I got to breathe. I know I can do this. This is... Okay, I want you guys to leave in the comment section. Should I have done this trade? I'm, I'm, I'm going to follow through with it. This is the number four pick of this round. It has to be done. It has to be done. Just tell me what you guys think, please. But why does it have to be me? Why, why do I have to be the sacrificial lamb? I don't understand. I, I thought that I was doing good for you guys. What? This pick is a definite no-brainer. I have the number four pick in the first round. Nalan's Noel is available. Andrew Bynum is gone. So this right here is easy pickings. It, at this moment, it feels like I'm literally picking daisies. That's how good it is. With the fourth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select the 20-year-old big man from the University of Kentucky. Hold on, wait. Is the Raptors trying to troll me right now? I can't believe they're trying to give me the fifth pick after I pick Noel. Are they serious? They, they they can't be serious. This is what 2K does right here. They're trying to give me the number five pick and Landry Fields. Well, I have a little bit of bad news. I'm good on the small forward front. I don't need Landry Fields. He won't do anything for me. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't believe this. All right, well, things are looking good so far. 10th pick okay i'm not even going to try to pronounce his name but he's straight out of germany <laughs> i'm gonna do what david stern does whenever he can't pronounce a name he just says the big man out of such and such <laughs> oh hold on uh oh the grizzlies are trying to give me gifts okay the 2013 first round pick number 12 for my number 18th pick in the first round and my first round pick in 2014. Oh my goodness. This is is this a hard choice? I don't know. I'm trying to think for a second. Hold on. Give me give me a moment. Now, would you guys do this? Leave this in the comments section. Would you trade up your 2014 first pick and your first round pick number 18 for a number 12 pick? Me myself, I'm going to negotiate this. But what I want to ask you guys is would you do that? Because what I'm thinking is, I'm going to have a great season. I feel as though giving up my first round pick, I don't think that I'm going to be going lottery next year. And that's exactly why I'm doing this. Now, okay, they have a top five prospect here. They have Reggie Bullock. Okay, now I think I might go with him. You know, he's an overall A. He's 6'7", 205. Now, the funny thing is, I just told them that I didn't want Landry Fields but I'm about to grab a small forward right here oh man I'm coming up big in this draft is this a blockbuster draft I, I don't know but I'm, I'm gonna definitely make this move right here with the 12th pick in the 2013 NBA draft the Philadelphia 76ers select the 22 year old small forward from the University of North Carolina This concludes the first round of the 2013 NBA Draft. I want to thank all of the fans of the NBA for joining us tonight. The second round of the NBA Draft will be conducted by Deputy Commissioner of the NBA, Adam Silver. Thank you. Well, the first round is over. I guess it's time to hop into the second round now, right? Welcome, NBA fans, to the second round of the 2013 NBA Draft. 
Thank you for being with us. The funny thing is, I've never seen him in the draft because when I play my career, I always go in the first round. Okay, what are the Clippers trying to do here? All right, since you guys lost Chris Paul, of course, you're going to try to take my second round number 18 pick for a number 23 pick? Come on, why would I even do that? That's the stupidest move I ever heard of. I'm on the clock. <laughs> Let me pick up somebody real fast. Let's look at this. Let's look at the draft. Some no, let's go in and choose somebody. Look at this. Ben McLemore is wow. Hold on, am I about to get a couple steals? Come on, this this is probably the best NBA draft I've ever been a part of. Look, oh Tim Hardaway Jr. Nah, I'm gonna go with Ben McLemore, man. A lottery pick in the second round, I gotta go for it. Got to. With the 48th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select the 21-year-old shooting guard from the University of Kansas. Before the final pick tonight, I'd like to thank 2K Sports and our broadcasters around the world for their coverage of our draft. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's our pocket Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Man, I had a great NBA draft outing. I got Nerlens Noel. I got Reggie Bullock. I got Ben McLemore. Oh my goodness, who would have thought going into the NBA draft with a round one and round two number 18 pick that I would come out with these three guys? Man, this is a blockbuster pickup. You can't call it a blockbuster move but because these guys weren't in the NBA, but man... I am hype. I don't know what I'm going to do with my roster now. I have to rethink everything, even going into the free agency. I have to rethink everything, man. But I guess it's time to sign these rookies, check out these deals. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Truth. I got these guys for the low low. Now, you know I had to take it to the bank. <laughs> you know, cash out. You know, what I'm saying? You know grab that little receipt. <laughs> Now that that's over, it's time to get into the free agent signing. Now, I know a lot of guys wanted me to get a lot of different players. For instance, Chris Paul, Bynum, and Dwight all on one team. But I'm not here to make a blockbuster team. I'm not here to just be great in one season. And I, I don't even know if my cat would have handled it. But I'm going to make the smart choice. I'm going to make the realistic choice because I want this association to be as realistic as it can. So I'm going for J.R. Swish. That means that he's about to get 28.47 mil. He's going to get a player option and he's going to be a starter with no trade clause. I'm, I, think, I, I think that's a good pickup. Now, the next person I want to get, I got to get Patrick Beverly. After what he did to Russell Westbrook, I know that he's an enforcer. <laughs> but guess what? He declined my trade. <laughs> it's all good, man. I ain't worried about it. I might try to go after him a little bit later. But what I was trying to pick up was a great backup point guard. But also, just to let you guys know, Darrell Wright has signed the contract. J.R. Smith is still looking at other offers. Hey, all I can do is pray. Now, I told you guys that I wasn't able to get Patrick Beverly, so I decided to go after DJ Augustine, set up a little bit of something, you know, try to get him a good contract, and he declined it as well. Now, at this point, I'm kind of pissed off. I'm like, yo, these dudes really don't want to play for the Sixers. So I went after Bay Boy, and he declined as well. I said, you know what? I'm going to advance a day. I'm going to take a deep breath because I feel as though either these guys don't want to play with the Sixers or there must be some type of problem going on. Maybe I'm not offering them enough money. But one thing I will tell you guys, JR Swish is on our team. JR, JR, do you have anything to say about the recent signing to the Philadelphia 76ers? Swish. All right, now that that's over, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking in the comment section, IKC is a cheapskate. Why ain't he trying to give these guys any money? Well, I finally rolled over. I decided I got to stop being cheap. So I gave Patrick Beverly an offer, 14 mil, four years at a role player position. He knows he's not going to be a starter. He knows he's not going to be a six man. And he knows he's definitely not a star. And just to show you guys, he didn't decline it straight off the gate, which kind of, you know, made me happy. It raised my morale a little bit. But once I advanced it to day five, I realized that Patrick Beverly did sign the contract. He is now officially a 76er. And he has a few words for you guys real quick. Y'all know what happened to that boy. For the next four years, y'all better watch out. I got six fouls to give and two flagrants suckers well that hectic offseason has come to an end 
Mark my words, 2013 and 2014 season is going to be a great year for the 76ers organization. Now, I know you guys want to know what my roster is right now, but what I want you to do is watch the first episode and watch the second episode over again. If you guys can tell me what my full roster is in the comment section, I will shout y'all out in my next video. This is IKC signing out. Peace.